this is another blitz game that I played, which my opponent was really good. He was 1200 and I was 1100. He was really, really good at uh, three minute games. Yeah, so if you guys know me when I created this channel, if you guys know me from that time till now, you guys know that I really like to play E4 when I'm white, mostly. I play that move. And I really like to play e5 when I'm black. So, you know my favorite openings. So, yeah. And we developed like normal humans until right now. Every YouTuber in chess says that you, you should put two pawns in the center. If you can, don't put it like if you want. You have to be able to do it. And you will get a high percent chance to win. So yeah, I lost that two pawns. Now is when the game gets spicy. I played queen to e3 to threaten queen to h6 and to control at the future to control the c5 square. Which he stopped me, uh, he completely stopped me but uh, to going queen to h6 he played king to g7 so i'm playing he stopped which i now need to plan to go to control the c5 square i need to plan that which at the future i did which right now bishop to b5 i don't know what was i what was i thinking he has c6 which that happened it was one 1.8 1.4 the game was 1.7 and now it's 0 0.3 0.3 is still in my favor but not like now and yeah i gave that favor up now is uh, minus 0 0.451 which he gave it up real quick as you see right now i got the favor back the move c5, it, it's not that good. Guys, if you have this position, the move c5 is trash. If your opponent plays the move c5, just know that you will win this game. Because the move c5 does not even make any sense. I mean, if you want to go c4, you could just tell me I will let you go. But move c5 is not that good. Which at the future it will let me capture that c5 one because I'm gonna control that square. Remember I told you guys I have to control that square to win the game. Which I kind of did. Which still is not in my favor. Yeah, by capturing that one I lost the game. Kind of lost the game. Yeah, and I don't know what is that move. Which right now I missed for oh, hell no. Queen, Which I mean, I, w I had one minute, so I was a little bit worried when I have low times. So I take this, and he played this one. And I took the bishop with 7 times out of 10, a bishop is better than a knight. Which, I don't even know how does this move make sense. How does, why would you take with the king? Why? If you see this knight, it... I could take this pawn, this pawn with my queen, which I did, and he played this one, and I could take this pawn, which I still did, and and I missed mating too. Uh, I played, oh, oh, yeah, no, wait, that was something else. Yeah, so I played rook to d1 instead of uh, mating two, playing this one and wherever he loves. Wherever, wherever he goes, I could check my team. But I played this move, which now I'm looking at it, I think that I'm so dumb. But I'm 1400, so I'm not yet. <laughs> so right now, the game is still plus um plus 30.1. Is it still in my favor? But it's not making two, so not good. I took and he took and I was hoping for this which I played this move and he resigned 
he resigned the game um but as you see guys if he couldn't if he if he didn't resign he had uh like like 50 40 percent chance to win if he didn't resign he still had chance chances to win i could have even blundered and he had the chance to win but yeah he gave up and i mean you see i just have a this will be a pass on i'm pretty sure and i'll get two rocks on the seven and he has three funds i have four more yeah he shouldn't do that but he still had a chance guys if you don't know Gotham Chase go watch one of his videos that says never resign then you, you guys will never resign and even even if you want to go go to my channel and watch my video that it says never resign yeah because if he didn't resign he still had a chance to win it was seven points of material why did he resign I'm not joking now, why, why did he resign? He, he still had the chance to win. I'm, I'm sure that he would. He would have had a chance to win. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me analyzing my games. And I will see you guys in the next video.